Happy Mimi. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Whew. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my goodness. Welcome back. Um, yeah. oh. Mr. Mr. I've been at, hanging at the camp's ground all yeah. the campsite all well, day. Yeah. Been just uh, chilling. Yeah, I had to run home and do a shift yeah. at work. Um, yeah. yeah. Hopefully you don't mind. I, I've got to eat. I didn't even have yeah, time to, to eat. I had two or three snacks today, lunch. <sighs> I'm good. Yeah, no, I had to, I went home, threw in a load of laundry after after work, went yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, it's been crazy. I didn't do anything. Um, You'll need to clean the tent up when you're done there. I'm, okay. I, well, yeah, yeah, well, I was at, between work and laundry, I ran and got groceries. And I told the people at the tent next door that you'd feed them tonight. Okay. I invited I invited the people next door over for dinner later, so you got more, you got more to do. Okay, well. But, um. Yeah. But well, yesterday I did plan a campfire story, so I, is, I do I do have the campfire story. So well, what is uh, yeah. if you have time because you got to feed the people next door. I invited them over. So okay. Um, I don't know what it is at, but um, I got high score on Candy Crush today, though. I got I got high score on Candy awesome. Crush. Awesome. Um, I saw lots of pretty birds. Um, I did all kinds of yeah. I, I, it was a good day. So, okay. but um, I'll do the story. You, why don't you relax for just a minute while I do the story? Well, I can't. Can I gotta go cook. Well, all right, then go cook. Well, no, you know what? No, I feel like I feel like you know what? I, I, need to, I feel like I, I, I should do the story. I need to all pray because right. we're just a mess tonight. You're a mess. I am I'm chill. So you know what? Let's pray. Okay, you can I, do that too. Yeah, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the business of this day. Thank you for my friend, even though, yes, well, thank you for my friend. Thank you for everything that you've given me. Thank you for my laundry. Thank you for our friends at the next campsite. Thank you for all the food and all the chores that you allow me to get done. Amen. Amen. So, all right, I'll go ahead and do a campfire story. Maybe okay. that'll relax you. Uh, I, I okay. picked it, like, it's one, I'm just, it's the one I'm going to pull from yesterday. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, we'll um, go hide and light on me here. Come on. Well, you're not going to believe it. I'm going to believe it, I guess. Whatever. But, um, I, it's about Mary and Martha. It's about who? Mary and Martha. Have you ever heard the story of Mary and Martha? I'm, I'm a little nervous about telling this story because I just realized just now that that I was acting a little bit like one of the people in this story, except not in a good way. So, so, and you were acting like somebody in, in this story too. But, uh, uh, okay, let me just, all right, I'm sorry. Let, let me bring you all up to speed with this Campfire Bible story. This is about Mary and Martha. They're Lazarus's sisters. So Jesus brought Lazarus back from the dead. So they're friends with Jesus. And Jesus is coming for a visit. So this is from Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. While Jesus and his followers were traveling, he went to a town, and a woman named Martha let him stay at her house. She had a sister named Mary. Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet and listening to him teach. But her sister Martha was do busy doing all the work that had to be done. Martha went in and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me with all the work to do by myself? Tell her to come help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, 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 you are getting worried and upset about too many things. Only one thing is important. Mary has made the right choice, and it will be ne never be taken away from her. You know, it, you, mm. so, so I was acting like Mary, except here's the problem. I wasn't reading my Bible and sitting at Jesus' feet. I was playing Candy Crush and watching the birds and taking a nap and eating the snacks that you made before you left. All of them. All so so I think Jesus. Oh, okay, and and but you you do you see how you were acting like Martha? Yes, yes. I I was very busy and I, I was not putting God first either. I I didn't take time to read my Bible and. Do my devotions and all of my busyness either. But really, you ate all the snacks. I, I did eat a lot of snacks. But but wait a minute. But wait a minute. What this, what this teaches us, 
is, so what this story is about is how important it is, no matter whether you're busy or not busy, to spend time with Jesus every single day. And so I want to talk about what it looks like because Jesus wants us to spend time. Now, but wait a minute. I do think it's important that we remind everybody, especially me, that spending time with Jesus doesn't mean you can say to your mom and dad, I'm not going to do any, I'm not, I'm not going to do my chores. And it doesn't mean you can say, I'm not going to go to work today. You, you spend time with Jesus and you put Jesus first, but you still have stuff you have to do and that's okay. But you always think of Jesus first and put Jesus first. And so that story was about how Martha was so busy getting ready for Jesus' visit that she didn't think about Jesus. But Mary could have helped Martha before Jesus got there. Then you know what? They both could have spent time with Jesus. Probably. So it's really about what it means to spend time with Jesus. So, so let's talk about that. How, what does that mean? So we know that Mary and Martha were friends with Jesus. So they just went in the room and sat down and listened to Jesus teach and preach and tell them stories and teach them. Mm -hmm. So how can we, what are things we can do to spend time focused on Jesus? Well, when I'm, when I'm focused on Jesus, I, I do do my devotions and I read, I, you know, I read my devotional book and it tells me like little stories about, about the Bible and about other people who are Christians and living mm. living the way God wants them to and and then it usually has a little challenge for me to for that day to say Hey when during the day think about this throughout your day, and that's really helpful for me Well this Campfire Bible stories is time with Jesus yeah. telling stories and you know what I just realized When I was if I had gone and spent time with our friends in the tent next door and spent time with them and shared stories with them and if I had prepared dinner for them then I could then you wouldn't have had to give up time now to go prepare dinner so sometimes it's doing something that Jesus would want us to do it's being kind to someone like it would have been kind of me to help you and not say hey go get dinner ready because that's what Jesus would want us to do yeah. so and sometimes even in our work or our yeah. school yeah. we can uh, you know be kind and talk about God and talk about what we're doing in our church and and you know in our homes and things that, that that's you know kind of sharing God and spending yeah. time with God when we pray anytime anywhere, anywhere about, about anything, anything that's, that's spending time spending time with God so i think that what we need to remember is that Jesus wants to be a part of all all parts of our life all everything you know that we still have chores we have to do we still have to go to school we still have to go to work when we're done camping in a, in a few days we still have to clean everything up but when we put God first when we say a prayer before when we do a devotional when we're kind to other people when we show love all of those are ways of focusing on Jesus mm -hmm. I can't I, I can't believe that tonight's story was Mary and Marta and I was I sitting here acting like Mary but not a but not not a Mary that was sitting at Jesus' feet. I, I didn't do that. And you were a Martha. Definitely. Yeah. Running around doing everything and not not, not spending time with God yeah. either. So yeah. we all sometimes act like Mary and Martha, and that's okay. God forgives us, but we need to take this time. Because you know what this Bible story did? It refocused us on Jesus. Because mm -hmm. that's what spending time with Jesus does. That's what spending time praying and doing devotionals and going to Sunday school and helping others. All of that brings us back to where our focus should be. Yep. So, whew, wow, that was... So, how can I help you get dinner ready for our friends in the next tent tonight? You know, let's just make hot dogs. Again. Okay, let's make it's hot easy. dogs. All right. And, you know, we can just gather the supplies real quick, and we could even... We can even have them roast their own hot dogs, and we can share another campfire story. Why don't you come up with another campfire story, because okay. you're really good at that. Okay. And I'll just go gather supplies real quick and invite them over, and we'll just sit here and Perfect. enjoy company with them. Perfect. And I think okay. it'll be really easy. You go that way, I'll, I'll go, go this way. way. Yep, oh, sounds good. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.